Hey everyone, my name is Ben Chaish. I'm a wedding and elopement photographer based in the Pacific Northwest. And we're gonna talk about something that is not necessarily as like sexy as a new camera or something like that, but I feel like makes a huge difference in the overall feel and aesthetic um, and functionality specifically of your camera. And that is the camera strap that you're actually tossing on your camera. So I've been photographing professionally for over a decade now and owned plenty of cameras uh, and still own a ton of different cameras. And for whatever reason, the first thing that I've always done as soon as I've gotten a new camera is gotten rid of that ugly, boring strap that normally comes with it that usually says the camera brand and then the model name on it and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like that strap just screams like, I just got this camera, I'm a tourist, like whatever. Um, and so part of that is just trying to get something that's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. The other thing is not kind of just shouting from, you know, your body that you have a new nice camera that someone might want to steal or whatever. Um, and as for me as a professional photographer, I sort of want to limit distractions. So a lot of my cameras, I actually black out the, you know, camera brand and the models and stuff like that. So it's just less things to be distracted by. I also own a few digital cameras and then a ton of film cameras that all have sort of needed their own straps over the years. So I'm gonna go over all of the different straps I have um, through various budgets and stuff like that and kind of let you know what I feel like are the best ones both for price and functionality and um, kind of let you decide. So the first strap that I came across as I was looking for something that just felt and looked a little bit better than the kind of typical strap out there are these really, really thin um, leather straps from a company called Gordy's. The leather that they have is really, really nice. It's thin, um, so you don't really want to use this on a like heavy DSLR with heavy lenses. This is a Canon EOS 3, so it's a film camera, so it's a little bit lighter. It doesn't pack as big of batteries. There's not like a you know big bunch of electronics in there in comparison to a DSLR. Um, but this is probably the biggest camera that you'd really want to be carrying around on this thing. The nice thing is though, they are super cheap for you know good quality leather. This is clearly a really old strap. Um, and I've had it for probably, I don't know, eight years or something. So it works really well. Leather obviously is going to look really great and last for forever. Um, so the straps as is are about 30 bucks. Um, they're thin and just solid. I've always added these neck strap pieces to them or the neck pads, I guess. Um, that definitely helps with kind of dispersing the weight across your neck, um, unless you're using, I think the only camera you can really use this on without one of those is maybe like one of the X100s or a small point and shoot would work without a neck strap. But in general, I've always gotten them. Uh, the neck pad adds another 15 bucks, I think. So all in, you can get a really good quality leather strap that's gonna last you for a long time for about 45 bucks. Um, and I feel like that is just about the best value that I found. So for a good quality, aesthetically pleasing strap, my budget option are is definitely these ones from Gordy's. I probably have owned eight of these at least. Basically every camera that I had bought um, or come across or whatever, uh, I have one on my old Hasselblad and on my Nikon F2 or my dad's Nikon F2 that I've had for forever. I had them on my Leicas. They've just gone on every camera that I bought in the last 10 years for the most part uh, until I came across some other options that obviously we're gonna just talk about soon. So moving from single straps for a second, we're gonna go into these beasts on the side here. Um, if you are photographing any sort of event or anything that you need multiple cameras, I can't tell you how great it is to have two cameras on you at all times with a strap like this from Holdfast. These are the money makers. And you'll probably, if you've been to a wedding, you've probably seen a wedding photographer wearing one of these. And for really, really good reason, this is the best kind of camera strap system that I've come across. I've been using these for like probably eight years, something like that. Um, I don't even know how old the company is, but I got one as a gift um, from a friend pretty soon after they started. And just having one of these is fantastic. So the way it works 
is you kind of just like put it on almost like you're just like having a gun holster or some sort of harness thing here. It goes across and then you have each camera on each side. What happens is you have these tiny little um, plates or not necessarily plates, but little screws that go into the bottom. Um, little tripod piece for your camera. So you screw that in. And so all you have to do is once it's on your camera, you just feed this through, pull that out, and then it's locked into your camera. The best part about it, honestly, is just the fact that you can walk around, have your cameras kind of dangling there and stuff like that. And you just have access to your cameras. I'm never worrying about them falling off my shoulders. And it just also looks and feels great. You just like don't look like an idiot wearing one of these. For In my opinion, I think they look awesome. Um, and so for me, obviously my aesthetic is sort of like these colors and black. And so for me, this black one with this um, kind of underneath leather that's a little bit softer and stuff like that fits what I do really, really well. Um, and it is by far, you know, the best way for me to carry multiple cameras. And if you are doing any sort of wedding specifically, I would highly, highly, highly recommend um, this system, I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, I'm actually an ambassador for them now just because I've just been so vocal about uh, loving their products. And I will toss an affiliate link below. I think it might be one of the only ways to get a discount off of these. Um, so I'll toss one below if you wanna check them out. The price point for these, I think they start at about 190 bucks for the non-leather version. And then the leather version, I think this one uh, is 230 and then they go up, you know, to exotic leathers and, and stuff like that. Um, I think this is the base model and it just works and feels amazing. Um, I, again, could not recommend this enough. So moving on from the dual camera system, which again, if you are doing any sort of paid work that is event based or something that you can't really make up again, uh, having two cameras on you is, just so clutch, uh, both for backup reasons and for just the fact that, um, especially me, I photograph everything with primes. I don't even own a zoom lens, so um, everything just works off of prime. So having me um, typically shooting maybe like a 50 on this side and a 28 on this side, or like an 85 on this side and a 35 on this side, just having that system where you can pop it back and forth, clutch. I could go on about them forever, but we will move on. So the other thing that Holdfast has recently made is their classic strap, which kind of takes off of the idea of using the same types of leather. So these two are actually the same leather, they're the same thickness, all that stuff. And you can see this one I've used for a few years. So it has a really, really nice, you know, kind of patina, I guess. I don't know what that word necessarily is for leather, but um, it's obviously worn in really well. The color has just gotten really good. Um, so you'll see that this one will end up like that, but this is a newer strap. I've only had it for a couple months. So it's just a totally different feel, but um, it'll end up looking really, really similar. So the nice thing is being able to pair this smaller strap um, with that. This strap uh, is the slightly larger one that has a, doesn't have a neck pad necessarily, but it obviously goes up and gets a little bit thicker in that area. So you have the thin piece down here where you don't need the extra kind of width, um, but then you have it be a little bit thicker um, at the, the top to kind of disperse the weight around your neck and everything like that. And the nice thing about this, and one of the things that um, I don't really, haven't really liked as much about the Gordy's one specifically, is that it has sort of a quick release system, allowing me not to just buy eight of the same strap over and over. Um, it allows me to put these little rings on any camera that I have, um, and then be able to kind of push this thing in. And it's kind of hard to do now because it's a new strap, but as this leather on this part wears in as well, um, you know, it'll be a lot easier. So it allows me to kind of take it out of this little sheath of sorts. Um, and then what I can do is on, you know, maybe I don't often shoot this Canon A1, but it allows me to kind of pop things on and off, use this single strap. So this strap, uh, I believe is, let's see, 95 bucks. So it's a little bit higher. It's about double what this Gordy, Gordy's one is. But, you know, it's a really, really well-made, well-crafted, um, and if you're spending, you know, a ton of money on cameras, spending, you know, a decent, you know, under 100 bucks on a 
strap that's gonna look really, really great, complement it, um, and all that kind of stuff. I don't really mind spending that kind of money. Um, especially the idea that then you can just toss these rings, which, you know, come with it and everything like that, and every camera kind of has, and it allows you to just pop these on and put them on multiple cameras. Um, so someone like me that has a bunch of different little film cameras that I use often, um, being able to do that makes this a really, really good buy. And then the last camera strap that I've kind of recently come across um, is a strap by Clever Supply Co. The owner has sort of become a friend of mine, as has the owner of Holdfast, Matt, who's amazing. Um, these guys have both actually kind of become friends of mine through all this process, but the thing that I really, really love about their straps is they have paired their amazing leather. So you can see that the leather isn't necessarily as thick, um, but because of that, it comes and it's really, really already well-worn feeling and just feels kind of like a little bit, uh, more just worn in mainly because it's just thinner, but it's definitely a lot more comfortable right off the bat. Um, so, you know, this strap isn't necessarily as comfortable right off the bat because it's a little bit tough, but that's how leather kind of works. You have to wait for it to get kind of broken in. So one of the sort of advantages of this being a little bit thinner is it already feels a little bit more comfortable, um, which again, the hold fast one will feel great as it wears in. But the thing that makes this special isn't necessarily the leather at all, it's the fact that it uses this peak design little strap concept. You've probably seen these or you might use them on other you know, cameras or you've seen them on other cameras. They're these little circles that allow you to use these kind of proprietary peak design insert things or whatever um, to kind of pop that on and use. I've been super intrigued by all of Peak Design's products, but the problem for me with that is that they're just super, super, super functional, but they look so tech. Um, and that's just not like who I am and what I feel like. I just, for whatever reason, like the tech aspect of that just hasn't been something I've really liked or felt like fit my aesthetic. Um, and so because of that, these guys at Clever Supply Co have made this awesome, awesome, awesome leather strap that again, this model has the neck pad, as we've kind of talked about, that helps kind of disperse weight and everything like that. Um, and then the leather just looks amazing, it's awesome. But then you pair that with the technology that Peak Design has with these little insert things that again, are really, really functional. It's super easy to kind of pop these in and out. Um, and so again, with both of these kind of systems, you're paying, you know, what is essentially like double at least what a $45 strap from Gordy's is, but it allows you on both of these systems to use the strap on multiple cameras, which then is saving you buying multiple straps. Um, if you're, you know, photographing things often with different cameras and all that kind of stuff, if you're shooting solo cameras uh, instead of kind of dual cameras in this way. So to wrap this all up, if you are looking for a well-made strap for a price under 50 bucks or so, the Gordy's is definitely the one to go for. Uh, it's not interchangeable between cameras. They have a few different options, but um, this basic one, 45 bucks, it's great. I have a ton of them and uh, yeah. Secondly, it's a no-brainer if you want to use multiple cameras at once, the Holdfast strap is the best one I've ever used. I've owned three different ones at this point. Uh, I have a thinner one, uh, their skinny version, that works a little bit better for mirrorless cameras than this bigger one, uh, which is the standard one. Again, putting two cameras on you is clutch. Um, and then they also make this strap, which is uh, the same kind of leather, everything like that. Um, this one retails for 95 bucks. Uh, links again for all of these are below. And then the Clever Supply Co. one that uses these amazing little peak design accessories or hardware or whatever you want to call it. That one's 119, but they actually gave me a discount code that is 20% off, so it brings it just under 100 bucks, I believe, if my math is sort of correct there. Um, so use the code Benj, uh, it'll make it under 100 bucks. Um, it includes the little Peak Design things, and if you already have Peak Design or using that, uh, it is definitely an awesome solution for that kind of system. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this was super helpful. If you have any questions about any of these, 
please let me know. Um, and then like, if you liked this, if you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Who knows, who cares? Um, but just engage in this kind of stuff. It helps keep the channel moving. Um, and if you're interested in this kind of stuff, I make a lot of videos like this about um, different cameras, these Leicas and film cameras and all that kind of stuff. Definitely into that kind of thing. So subscribe if you're into that. So thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.